23 RV J flight here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a smaller member of the number one selling series of travel trailers out there since 2005 and counting. It's obviously a, a pretty big thing to say. That's a, a unprecedented record that nothing else has ever matched before and maybe never will again. Um, the uh, margin there continues to grow is what's interesting. And uh, it's, it's a lot of little things. I can't ever, I can't really tell you one thing like here's the reason why so many people purchase J flights. It's a, it's a combination of all these little things and that's why I wanted to put this video together. As a person who goes camping and I go camping in a J flight, I, uh, you know, I, I, I see all this little stuff they do that makes the difference and I think that's why they are just the undefeated, undisputed champ of the world here. So let's get dug in, but keep in mind, this unit might be different from the one we have in stock. Always check our website or visit uh, our dealership or, you know, just give us a call so we can verify if there's specific options you're looking for. Um, so this is an Elite Series, by the way. This has uh, an upgrade bundle on it, and I'll try to point out some of those features as we go. Uh, a quick one we can look at here. The aluminum wheels and a fifth grade, uh, fifth wheel grade, rather, Moride suspension system. Uh, it gives you greater independent up and down wheel travel. It also is a rubber shock dampening system to take the uh, herky jerkiness out of towing. Little stuff like the entry door is wider. You know, just little things like that. This one comes in 4,500 pounds, by the way. So, um, you know, easy half ton towability. Nice little no slide couples camper. This thing is great. Um, you know, I see people, they start with little campers, then they go up to fifth wheels, and eventually over the years, a lot of times, they come back down to something like this. This ends up being a lot of folks' final camper. It also ends up being a lot of folks' starter camper. It's interesting that they, uh, they meet this on both sides. You've got wider, taller baggage doors, and that's the thing. These aren't just wide, they're extra tall. This is one of those things that you're going to use every day and you don't think about how nice it is, you know? Uh, we've got a huge underbed storage cavity in here and you notice that the bag store on the other side of the trailer is the same size. They don't use a smaller one over there. Now if you look under here, you see real wood. You don't see particle board, you don't see OSB. That's not what you're going to find in a J-Flight. And that is one of several reasons this has a double length two year warranty plus first year roadside assistance. Not uh, very, very, very few trailers can say that. Um, this is solar prepped, but keep in mind that's really just for like trickle charge and your batteries to keep your lights running if you're dry camping. That's not for like running the refrigerator when you're out in the boondocks. That's not what that's for. Power awnings and power tongue jacks seem like a gimme feature that almost every trailer has nowadays. So it's important to start looking at the quality and the grade of that uh, component. And until you, you know, have power hooked up to this thing and you push the buttons, it's hard to tell. All you can do is kind of take my word for it. So that's one of those things that no matter how much information I provide here, I still always recommend you go visit a dealership and um, you know put your hands on it. Make sure that there's power put to it. Push the buttons. Pretend you're camping in it. Sit on the toilet like you're going to use it. It might seem silly, but you might sit down on one and go, huh, I can't fit in here. Well, you know, f feeling silly for just a couple seconds might save you tens of thousands of dollars of mistake, you know? Um, back here, when you see this big bumper bracket, that's a dead giveaway that we've added a bumper mounted grill to this one. So keep in mind, that's one of those options that you may not find on every one of them, but things like the uh, outside shower, that's a standard. I do like the spare tire cover, indicating something I've already shared with you. They are the number one seller. As the, oh, black tank flush back there, by the way, too. Um, uh, the uh, Elite package I mentioned includes this rear ladder back here. So you can get up to your plywood decked, magnum truss uh, built roof. Long story short, very, very strong roof structure in this Jayco. Uh, holds 4,500 pounds, strongest in its class. Extra tall, extra wide baggage compartment back here as well. Now what I like is they have this little power outlet back here and I looked at this and said, man, that's perfect for a little mini fridge. You could throw one back here, no problem. But I like how easy access this is. It's just easy to get into. Um, the power awning does have LED lights all the way at the base of the awning, so you can use the lights even when the awning is in the in position like it is currently. Um, other little niceties, just like the bigger entry door to complement the, uh, or bigger entry handle to complement the bigger entry door that I already mentioned. This is one of those things too, you can't appreciate it until you've been in and out of a couple campers and all of a sudden you go, oh man, yeah, it's just easy, it's just nicer. What I like about it is if you've got a big platter full of food and you're walking in, you don't have to like try to turn sideways and juggle your food. It's just, it's just not an issue now. Um, 
stepping in here, there's even a couple fun things inside to point out. The uh, well, first of all, let me shed some light on the situation. Your uh, your main bank of living room lights is all in one switch, which is really nice. It's nice you walk in, flip one switch, and you're done. While I'm pointing up here, I also want to mention J flights are taller. Um, the uh, average travel trailer is 78 inches tall. This is 81. Three inches makes a big difference. It means we have taller cabinets. We would have a taller slide out if this was a slide model. We have a taller shower. You might have more headroom in the bunks if this were a bunk model. You know, that it's it's a big cascade effect. Things add up quickly. Um, while we're standing here also, I want to point out the fact this has this handy little wireless remote control system right here. Um, it does a lot of things, actually. It can operate your uh, awning. Your uh Uh-oh, I dropped it. <laughs> well, hey, there's a blooper for you. Let me right, wipe that off there, a little wet on the ground. Oh, it's not charged either. Well, I'm just striking out, you know, all over the place here. I'll put her back. We'll get her charged up later. Well, how about that? Anyway, you can operate your patio awning lights, which is what I was going to show you before I dropped the handy-dandy wireless remote. Uh, you can ap actually operate your power awning with it. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Also, this has an 18-gallon-per-hour water heater. You have gas and electric modes. But you can run them simultaneously for a fast recharge. Not every water heater is capable of that. Even in this little 23-foot camper, we still have central air. That's a nice thing. You don't always find that in a smaller trailer. All of your lighting inside uh, is LED, by the way. And good quality LEDs. You got, And you have a lot of them in a small space. Now, on top of what's already lit up, you also have handy little spotlights you know, above things like your kitchen, above things like your dining table. You've got lots of good light in here. Um... Let's just start over here and get worked around. All of our windows are pleated shades, so you can have lots of privacy. All the windows open for ventilation. Now, this floor plan, one of the funny things about slide-outs is they make cross-ventilation a little tricky sometimes. Now, this is very natural. We have windows setting across from one another, so we get very good cross-breeze. Um, your uh, kitchen, despite not looking very impressive, actually has a lot of storage in it. I mean, there's a lot of big-time storage in this small kitchen space. Now, um, normally you would have a very minimal countertop, but they gave a lot of it back to you with the sink covers here. And you can always, you know, slap the, uh, spank the kids here, maybe, you know, smack your husband upside the head, ladies, if he gets out of line. Or you can just, you know, wrap this around his neck and get his attention. You don't want to hurt him, just get his attention. That's, that's just what guys need. Now, um, if you listen, that's real metal. That's not, that's not like a nickel looking plastic, you know nicer hardware that, that kind of stuff you'll find in a j flight you typically find uh plastic stuff in this class and actually quite a bit further up your uh primary use um cabinet doors the ones you're going to get in and out of all the time every single day they do like to upgrade to a full hardwood in a j flight elite series again that upgrade bundle that we have going on here you're probably going to be in and out of those more than anything else your uh, refrigerator, this is this is actually very nice. Uh, average refrigerator in a travel trailer is a six cubic foot. If you're lucky, a manufacturer will let you pay extra money to upgrade to an eight. J flights have an eight cubic foot standard. Every single day of the week, no extra money inquired or incurred. Jeez, oh Pete, I'm just like, I'm having a rough day today. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's my birthday, man, and I'm all kinds of tongue tied here today. Apparently, I, I'm just a little distracted by uh, everything. Um, the uh, skylight above the kitchen is part of that Elite series. Adds a lot of extra ambient light in here. Now, we've added uh, the whole TV bundle here. And when you see electronics in a J-Flight, you're going to see all Furions, like you do the, the Jayco Pinnacle, their, their biggest, baddest fifth wheel. Furion stuff is pretty much the best. It's made to be, you know, shaken really violently. It's made to be um, uh, hot and colder before you experience component failure. It's very good stuff. It's it's what you need in a trailer. Now, uh, they also have a big pocket up here if you want to bring along extra electronics. And it is satellite prep, so you can throw your uh, satellite kit up there. Dinette and sofa will both fold down into a little sleeper. But one of the things I like on these is they're bringing back just a simple classic concept. Just the little dinette storage totes. That's something that you haven't seen in trailers for a long time. And I'm telling you, those things are so, so handy. That is awesome. Also, power outlets under the dining table, so you got a little perfect space to charge phones and whatnot back there. Let's take a peek at the rear bathroom, which is one of the signature points of this floor plan. Real quick, I don't have any lights on in here. 
I don't need lights on in here because we have both a power ceiling fan as well as a big skylight. They didn't cheat by trying to put this over here. We also have shower wall surround paneling, which not everything has. And they actually have a, like a usable functional shelf here in their shower unit. That's something you just don't typically find. Um, your stool in an Elite Series is porcelain with a foot flush and lots of leg room here. You're not going to have leg room troubles. And they actually have room under the sink for stuff like extra toilet paper and whatnot. Although storage in this bathroom is not a concern. This is absolutely not a problem. You've got a giant hanging bar in here. It's a big closet. Um, and uh, it go, I mean, you see it goes all the way behind the medicine cabinet here. Just big, giant open space. If you want to put a big organizer in there, you can. And I love the fact that they mounted the medicine cabinet on an angle, on a bias, like, like you're supposed to. This, the medicine cabinet is supposed to face the same direction as the sink. A lot of manufacturers will try to just mount the mirror against the wall. And those are those little things I was telling you about. Those are those little things where that's not the reason to buy a J-Flight, but that's one of those day-to-day -day annoyances you don't consider um, until you've already invested in a trailer and you're already committed to this thing and you already, uh, you know, uh, you already wrote the check. It's yours now. Um, oh, by the way, this color scheme, this is called coffee. Um, not every single 23RB we have is going to be equipped in coffee. This one just happens to be. But it's, it's all that little stuff. Like, they have a, a big walk-around uh, section here. You can really easily get around this bed. They have a, uh, a pillow-top Denver mattress right here. All that little stuff adds up day-to-day -to, -day to be a more enjoyable experience. You've got twin reading lights above the bed I do not have turned on uh, currently. We have residential outlets over there. Residential and USB and, um, uh, I don't know, cigarette lighter plugs. i got to find out the actual name for those. I guess it's just a charging port or something now. I don't... I don't know the, the cool politically correct name. I grew up, we called it a cigarette lighter. I'll probably die calling it that. You always wonder why, uh, you know, your grandfather was just stuck in his ways when he, the way he called things, things, and I guess I'm starting to get it as I get older here. But anyway, that's pretty much this one in a nutshell. She's a, a bestseller. We, we don't have these things get old. These things don't end up on clearance row. I guess maybe just because we work real close with folks and we make good deals happen every day. So don't hesitate to give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.